Hi guys! So, for today's video, I thought I'd share with you my everyday makeup. I was going to do this as a what's in my everyday makeup drawer type video, which is currently very popular on YouTube, but I don't have a makeup drawer. What I do have is this acrylic makeup organizer from TK Maxx. It was $5.99 and I showcased it in my um, latest haul video, which I will link down below. Obviously, most of my everyday makeup is items from my project Use It Up and my finish 5 by Valentine's Day. So, if you watched any of those videos, you'll recognize most of the I these items. I will leave both of those playlists down below for you guys. So, yeah, let's just get right into it. Over here on the side, I keep my two everyday nail polishes. The first one is the Nails Ink in Cadogan Square, which is just this nude color. And then this um, Depend in number 117. This is more or less just a clear nail polish with glitter. And I'm wearing the Nails Ink one underneath this one right now on my nails. I really like this combo and the effect that I get with it. And let's get into the actual organizer. Let's start over here. First I have the Etrabelle Effect Lip Gloss in number 08 I believe this is. Yes it is. And it's just a clear like slightly pink glittery gloss on the lips. And then I have the Isadora Moisturizing Lip Gloss with Jojoba Oil in number 15, Tropical Pink. Sorry for the glares. I can't seem to get rid of them. Then in this back section, right here, I keep a tweezer, some cotton buds, some little scissors, a comb, and two brushes. This one is the, oops, sorry. Okay, that does not want to appear. This is the e.l.f. Professional Concealer Brush, which clearly does not want to show. And then I just have a random cheap little eyeshadow sponge brush that I use with my everyday eyeshadow. Then here I have the Ayako Fat Eye Stick in, I think, brown. At least that's what I'm assuming the shade name is. Because it is just a dark brown color. Then I have the Garnier BB Cream Miracle Skin Perfector. I roll on in light. It is very shiny. There we go. And in the same little compartment, I keep my two everyday perfumes that I'm trying to use up right now. The first one is the Christina Aguilera Woman of the Perfume, which is this one. And this is the Naomi Campbell at Night. These are just perfume samples I've got in glossy boxes and things like that. And then finally in this compartment I have an Elizabeth Moth Smooth Shadow Pencil in Pearl. It's just a... I don't know how to describe this color. It's right there. Then, for the final two lipstick compartments, I have the Masty um, Color Protecting Leave-In Oil Treatment, made with certified argan oil and olive oil. This is a little deluxe size sample 
I believe it's called, in from a glossy box. And then I have the Estee Lauder um, Pure Color Ultra Light Gloss in 09 Sparkling Shell. My camera will not pick up the tiny writing. It is barely readable. So, this is just a more or less clear glitterly glitter lip gloss. And then in this back compartment, I keep my Molco Illusion Nude Lip Liner or something like that. The thing is, this has a different name on the actual pencil than it does on the actual box, which is really weird, but yeah, it's just a nude, like, lip pen, not eye pen, sorry. This next one is an eye pen, and this is the Elite Intensity Waterproof Black Long Lasting Eye Pencil. And it's just a dark black, very pigmented. Then I have my current favorite lip combo. This is the e.l.f. matte lip color in rich red. And this is an H&M lip gloss in Red Dawn. And I do love this e.l.f. matte lip color. But it is a tad bit dry, so I find that if I wear it on just its own, then it's not looking very nice on my lips. So I put this lip gloss on top of it, and it's a very nice, beautiful combo. Then I have my final lip gloss. This is the Amati Cindelabra lip gloss. And then finally for this compartment, I have the Oriflame Eyeliner Stylo in black. This is just a normal black eyeliner pen. And it is very dark black color. Very nice and pigmented. Then we have the final compartment. And the first thing here is the Etra Belle Lip Lift Peel, which is a lip like scrub type thing. Then I have a H&M Eyebrow Fix. This is just a clear eyebrow gel type thing. It is looking very disgusting. Next I have the Babur. Super Style Mascara Volume and Length in number 02 Violet. And it really is violet. I love this mascara. The thing with this is that it does not appear violet unless you have it under the right light. Otherwise, it just looks like it's a normal black mascara. Then I have a little like Depotted little L'Oreal CC thing. I will put the name of it on the screen for you guys because I don't remember what it's called. Then I have a little deluxe sample of the Benefit uh, it's, it's Potent Eye Cream. It says brightening eye cream to fade dark circles. I also got this in a glossy box and this is what the little jar looks like. It is super cute and tiny. Then I have an Ayako Black Magic Mascara Drama and Curl Mascara sample or maybe it's called Lux Size I don't know. That's th what the one looks like. Then I have a H&M eyeshadow pigment 
in pink dust. This is more or less my everyday just quick eyeshadow. That is that swatch. I just quickly dust this over my eyes and then I'm ready to go. Then I have an sorry about that. A Manu um, First Defense Illuminating Primer with SPF 15 and that is what that looks like. This is also from a glossy box. This is a very expensive primer but my opinion does not do a whole lot for my dry skin so I do not recommend this primer. Then I have an Ayako Cherry Fat Balm and it looks like that. This can be used for either cheeks or lips. I prefer on my lips because it's such a red color. Then I have the Maybelline Fit Me in number 110. And this I've just depotted in a little jar. And it's just the normal Maybelline Fit Me foundation. And then finally I have this quad by e.l.f in butternut and this empty pan used to have a orange eyeshadow in it but I've used that up so I only have the brown the dark almost black color and the um, brow bone highlight left so yeah that is everything in my everyday makeup organizer. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I will be doing another one of these in the beginning of February to show you guys what I will be using for the two months of February and March because I don't switch up a whole lot of products every month but I do switch them up every two months depending on the season so stay tuned for that and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!